whatever you do don't go to this website it does not exist anymore <laughs> that's my old Honda Prelude forum anyway guys uh, back again with another video with my quadcopter let me show you what I've done is you, if you watch any of my other videos I have two 3700 milliamp zippy compact batteries and what I have done is connected them both together one in the middle of this frame and one on the bottom to basically make a 7400 milliamp battery I'm gonna connect both of these together with an adapter the same adapter that I use to charge both the batteries at the same time and uh, so it's definitely gonna weigh a lot it actually weighs about 1,404 grams, which um, my motors can lift it, it's no problem. It's just, it's, it's a lot of weight, you know. If I really were to run this kind of setup, this kind of weight all the time, I would definitely want to use um, lower KV motors, maybe like uh, 800 or so. These are 1,000, so I'd probably run like 800, maybe 850s with some... Uh, 10 even 11 inch props these are 9 inch now also what I did before I left the house is I actually measured what size props I could fit on here uh, before they actually get too close and nearly touch each other and the answer is about 12 inch props now I cannot run 12 inch props on here because of where I have this antenna mounted the props would actually hit hit that antenna but if I mounted that antenna another way I could probably run 12 inch props which are pretty damn big I wouldn't want to go that big anyway I'd probably go 11 at the very biggest um, and 11 inch props are too much prop for these motors so I couldn't run 11s unless I got different motors but anyway I'll uh, I'll go ahead and take this out to the park somewhere and uh, let's see how long it'll last with these two batteries connected. 7400 milliamp zippy compacts. pretty damn windy out here right now Got some dogs over there in the cage last time I came here the dogs were chasing this thing we plug this thing and we plug this thing in and uh, let's get started just show you how I have this thing connected this is a parallel adapter it connects the positives together connects the negatives together batteries and like I said I use this for charging the batteries all right just did the compass calibration right now it's on manual Let's switch it to switch it to GPS let's put this on attitude no GPS yet Although it is climbing, there's a, there's a significant difference in power loss. Pretty damn windy out here. Got GPS lock right now. Flashing green light only, which means more than six satellites. I 
I would estimate the wind is about 10 or 11, possibly even 12 miles per hour right now. about 11 minutes in. I have not landed this yet. I can actually see the, uh, the little voltmeter that I have on there. It's, it's one on here. 11.1 volts. And this is under load too, so I know if I land it, I'll probably have around 11 and a half, 11.6 volts on those two batteries. Thirteen and a half minutes. Can't really see the voltmeter from here. Looks like it's about ten point nine or so, ten point eight. All right, almost at twenty minutes. Voltmeter is bouncing between ten point six, ten point seven volts. When it gets to about ten point five, ten point four, I'll go ahead and land it and, and then check the time. All right, we reached the final voltage, 10.4, 10.5. 22 minutes. So, I'm not really disappointed. I, I figured I'd get somewhere in the 20s with these batteries, with these two batteries hooked up together like that. It is a lot of weight. You know, if I were to um, definitely get lower KB motors and bigger props on here, I know I can get, uh, you know, nearly 30 minutes with this setup. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the motors. Yeah, they're they're barely, barely warm. I'd say, you know, nothing even remotely to be concerned about. bearings are still okay so that's pretty much it just wanted to take this thing out here and show you guys what I did with my two 3700 milliamp batteries I definitely do not recommend this <laughs> unless you get bigger props and lower KV motors but uh, that's it for now guys see you in the next one